back to school season and if you watched my last video you would know that um so basically i thought i would come to you today with a little what is in my backpack for the 2022 fall school year my backpack will be constantly changing so if you ever need an update just let me know without further ado let's just get into what is in my backpack before we get into the video if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe because i post videos every week and i'm gonna be posting a lot more back to school content so also a little bit of a backstory i am like a sophomore and a half i'm supposed to be a junior but um i'll get into it more later on in another video if you care but um yeah i also do have gumball playing in the background i just didn't feel like turning it off so if that's distracting i'm sorry also taylor swift shirt that i thrifted just getting all these things out of the way putting them out there acknowledging them but anyways it is just a simple corduroy brown backpack that is from Amazon, but I love it because it is brown and corduroy. I didn't want to get like a Kankin or something like too aesthetic because also Kankins are expensive and I will break them and I just needed something that's a little bit more uh, bigger, reliable, and whatever. I was a little bit inspired for like a little bit of a Gilmore Girls vibe. I'm really obsessed with Gilmore Girls and just I think that's the vibe for back to school this season because autumn and just uh. We're just gonna start with what is on the bag, which I'm really excited about because um, I love pins. And so I never put pins on my actual school bag before because I was scared of them falling off and losing them, which did happen to me. So I did order these um, locking pin backs um, on Amazon so that none of these are going to fall off. There's a few that I do need to add um, pin backs to, but um, let's just start with what they are. I just want to share two soap sprites, Ghibli movies. Um, love a good soap sprite. Most of these are from a thrift store that I go to. Then we have a little mushroom dude. He's got balloons above that we got mabel from gravity falls which as you know is uh, just a beloved show to me it is literally i don't know why i love that show so much but we have mabel there underneath mabel we have the kitty from kiki's delivery service but i've kind of forgot what her name is searching up the cat's name Gigi? Oh, Gigi. Yeah, it is Gigi, but with a J. Gigi, surrounded by loaves of bread. Above that, we have this pin that I actually got from Record Store New Orleans. It is a Mac DeMarco pin from his album, Here Comes a Cowboy. Next to that, we got the big, got a big boy pin, okay? Remy. This was given to me for Christmas. It is from Disney World, and as you know, I love Ratatouille, and my dog's name is Remy, so... We have a Remy pen to remind me of my dog and to remind me of the most amazing piece of cinema ever, Ratatouille. So underneath that, we have Kirby. I love curbs, so it's got a cute little Kirby. I thought it was cute. Next to that, it's got a piggy with boots on. Um, me and my friend both got matching pigs with boots. We have Always Sleepy Club member. I just love the art on this. I thought it was so cute. Froggy with a knife. Uh, my little sister got me this for Christmas, I'm pretty sure. And then next to Froggy with a knife, we have Greg from Over the Garden Wall, which is literally my favorite show. And I love, I love Greg. So above that, we have the circular kind of pins that are like not enamel pins. It says coin, like the band. This one says rainbow mixtape next to it this is from beacon's closet it's a thrift store in new york city um i got this when i lived there and now it is on my bag it is a silly silly little pin a little baby with glasses next to that little tiny pin it says ghostly swoosh if you know you know it is a universal studios pin from the mummy ride but i got it for free because i had an annual pass i'm really excited about this pin because it is perfect. This I also got at the thrift store. It is Squidward, um, but like the modern paintings of Squidward as Harry Styles on the Fine Line album cover. It is wonderful. Last pin on the bag, Coraline. I think my sister gave me this for Christmas. The only thing I'm missing is Taylor Swift pins that I am gonna try and order some on Amazon or on Etsy that I've been looking at. I think we're just gonna start with the first pocket over here. Um, there's actually two pockets, but this one doesn't have anything in it because the pin backings are in there. Um, right now, I just have a We Bear Bears cosmetic bag that I got from Miniso. I love the show We Bear Bears. My other dog's name is Panda. So it's like an homage to my dog. But anyways, um, there's nothing in this yet, but I know that I want to have like a cosmetic bag of like things for touch-ups. I don't leave for college for like another month, so I have yet to pick what I'm going to actually put in here. Also in this little pocket is my pencil case. Um, I got this off of Amazon. It said, be young, be unique, special. 
you are one in a million. And I, I didn't know it said that on there. Um, I just kind of liked that it was brown. Yeah, I'm just gonna open this on up. There is really nothing in here yet. I haven't even bought pencils yet. So, uh, but I do have a million highlighters in here, which are really cute and they're all pastel. Also from Amazon. They're really cute. I haven't used them yet, so I can't say if I recommend them. So that's kind of it that's in this pocket here, but um, this bag is, oh wait, I totally just lied to you. It's really cute, this little pocket, because it has built in like pencil holders. But uh, one thing I do have kind of hidden here are post-it notes. And these post-it notes are super cute. They say, must not forget. And um, I got post-it notes because um, sometimes I don't feel like writing things in a journal and I just want to pop them on a post-it note, stick it somewhere. If I randomly in the middle of class remember that I need to buy uh, pasta, I'll write that down and I'll stick it on something on my phone and I will remember to buy pasta. This is where all the good stuff is. So I'm just going to start grabbing, all right? I am only taking three classes this year. I have two notebooks mainly for notes, and there's this one. It is so freaking cute. I, once again, I got it at a boutique in um, where I live, and it says notes, and it's just got that cool, like, spray-painted, kind of fuzzy vibe. Um, and on to the next notebook. Uh, well, actually, this is the planner, but see how they match? Like, I don't know what this, like, style is called and why or why it's so popular now. This is a planner. I showed it in my last video. It says, good things are coming. And uh, it's got stickers, which is really nice. And then just the months. And I can write down my goals, birthdays, any additional notes and to-do lists. And I definitely need a planner like this. I've always used them every year. Um, it helps me balance, like, my schoolwork and YouTube and stuff like that. All right, up next is something I probably won't literally keep in my backpack. I'm thinking of maybe keeping this on my bedside table when I'm in my dorm, but it is this, like, cute little weekly to-do list. And so we got this. I thought it was really cute, and it just has, like, Sunday through Monday, and I can write down everything I need in the week or what I need to remember. And then when I'm done, I just up a new one next up is my next notebook and i'm not sure if this is technically more of a sketchbook like it definitely is a sketchbook because it has sketch paper but uh it says in the waiting keep creating and i just thought it was so freaking cute and it's got like gold on it and oh i just thought it was really cool next up we got uh, random miscellaneous things which will definitely change before school starts but we got books okay and I've recently really gotten into reading books yeah if you guys want a, a book video I've been trying to read all like the really popular book talk um, books to give you an honest review but um, right now the books that are in my bag I'm thinking like like Miss Rory Gilmore was thinking and that one scene in Gilmore Girls if you know what I'm talking about so just take one bus book. No, the Malay is a biography. And sometimes if I'm on the bus and I pull out a biography and I think to myself, well, I don't really feel like reading about a person's life right now, then I'll switch to the novel. And then sometimes if I'm not into the novel, I'll switch back. Hmm. You know, I got three books in here because you never know what what kind of book you might need. We have Atomic Habits, which is just a, a habits book that just teaches you how to design habits that work for you. So I am reading this book. I feel like this is a good book to bring with you to school because it's like I don't know it just seems like a good school book yeah it's not like one that I'm reading every single day it's just when I feel like I need like a little pick-me-up motivation I pick up this book and I read it so I'm probably gonna carry that with me then it's like okay what if I don't feel like reading that we got a, a cheesy romance book funny you should ask this book is like about a famous actor getting interviewed by this girl and uh yeah i'm reading it right now the cover is really cute probably end up bringing some sort of book in this realm with me but what if i don't want that well we have classics okay maybe i want to read a classic jane austen book um this is emma i have yet to read it but i'm excited to read it so next up since i am going to be living like my school is in like a cute little town um i'm hoping that there will be like farmers markets eventually or if i ever need to stop and get groceries and i don't want to use a plastic bag i have my french market bag and i'm so excited um i have been wanting a french market bag for literally ever i see it all over pinterest so i finally got one and this one's in my favorite color of blue as you like maybe know i've mentioned it a couple times recently that i have a weird obsession with certain shades of blue and this is one of them it just 
it's just such a pretty blue i want to eat it which makes no sense but um so here's the market bag my little sister was joking with me and she was like so a fishnet and i was like no a market bag like a little european market bag and it's just so cute i've never seen one that's colored before then in this bag we have a computer compartment so i just have my my macbook pro with um an obscene amount of stickers on it i wanted to get a case to try and like make my stickers cuter but um honestly this is just not gonna happen they're just gonna be crazy and i'm just gonna keep adding to them but uh, you can look spot what stickers you want there's lots of harry styles lots of harry styles on here got olivia rodrigo in here so honestly the like the last thing i have in this bag is this weird little compartment that's on the top by the handle and i don't know what to put in there so right now there is literally just a claw clip in there and this one's cute because it's velvet which i really like so i guess i'll just keep a claw clip in there i don't really i don't know what else there's also like a little area to put a water bottle so i'll definitely keep a water bottle with me at all times but um this is my backpack for the 2022 fall school year yeah i hope you guys like my backpack i will probably be changing it up um especially when school starts so if you want an updated one please just let me know and i hope you guys enjoy if you want to follow me on any social medias it is all linked down below and probably on the screen tbh and my be real just went off yeah that's all if you guys want to subscribe sorry if a uh, gumball was really distracting didn't mean for it to be but if it wasn't then i'm glad you gotta watch an episode of gumball instead of paying attention to me so